darn you 59 Impala using up all the welding gas. Hey, what's going on guys? So, um, haven't really done much to the uh, 73 because it's been kind of uh, busy. But um, today, since um, we are out of welding gas again, I am going to finish taking out the motor and uh, replace the flywheel that supposedly is bent on it. So hopefully that's what it is. And um, yeah, so I finished unbolting the radiator and now I just gotta cut these little zip ties that I guess we're securing it and go from there. So the cooler lines already disconnected and the shot is already unbolted. And I just finished disconnecting the uh, radiator hose. So now I'm going to cut these off and then take the radiator out and then take this rod off and then remove the bolts for the fan and go from there. All right, so the last bolt and uh, it pretty much gonna remove the spacer and the pulley at the same time. So I'll just put the bolts back. So that way we don't lose any of them. Uh, I'm gonna take the air cleaner off and then um, pretty much pull the uh, well, I think lower the car just to make it a little bit easier since we're not fighting the height. Take the hood hinges off, which is removing these bolts. And then we should be able to yank it out. So remember before I had already loosened up all the um, the bolts that go from the bell housing onto the back of the engine. So those, those are already loose and I also got the uh, starter already disconnected so it's just a matter of just pulling the motor out all the bolts for the motor mounts are also free so pretty much minimal work now um, as you could tell this is the last time that I worked on the car and I had pulled the, uh, the valve cover off all right guys so just for full disclosure I did have to get rid of the uh, carburetor and I guess I was uh, way ahead of myself and I also had to loosen up this uh, throttle linkage so it does have a bolt and then uh, I release that and then over here I had to remove the, the wiring harness and um, I need I could disconnect it from right here but I also need to I guess I could disconnect it from right there so I'll disconnect it from right here and uh, leave the ignition coil on there I'll bolt up the um, engine mount plate so we could lift it up and then go from there so should be smooth sailing now, I think, if nothing else is in the way. Trying to find out a couple of things on the 59 Impala. I was looking to see what the actual dimensions were for the frame, and I really couldn't find any for a 59. So if anybody out there has the frame dimensions, if they could please share it, um, it'd be pretty awesome because, I, like I said, I, I was looking all night yesterday and uh, couldn't find any. So I'm trying to or trying to create a new frame rail from the back so I need to figure out what the dimensions are back here over there over there and it looks like where the uh, strut mount is or body mount is sorry um, looks good uh, on, for the most part it's positioned where it's got to be so that'll make it a little bit easier All right guys, so pretty much cleared all the garbage that was on top of the car. And uh, now what we're, what I'm gonna do is get a dolly and stick it under the car so you guys can see where the frame is bad, as you can see over here. But um, we never got under this car to begin with. It was uh, pretty much in the mud. So I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like. All right, so we're gonna do this the most uh, barbaric way possible. We're gonna get this um, dolly and set it under the car and I'll pop the camera underneath the car and uh, pretty much pull it with this ratchet strap so let's see how it works so we got it positioned I'm gonna push it all the way back then I'll leave the camera and then I'll use this guy to pull the camera <laughs> 